Hey guys, it's Solvi wow. here. After a short break from making guides, I'm returning with an absolute banger. Today, I'm going to be covering the king of the skies, the Jotunhel, but since I struggled to pronounce that word, let's just say the Jot. The Jot was initially released as a limited event gacha for the 2020 winter event and it has been confirmed that this creature sadly will not be returning to the game, meaning this creature must be obtained through the trade realm, or you can buy a stored adult trial creature from the in-game store. However, this does cost over a thousand mushrooms, so it may just be cheaper to find someone willing to sell a species to you. The Jot has built a mischievous reputation, as Jots can often be seen causing anarchy with their breath or stealing food from other players. It is not uncommon to hear cries from disgruntled players asking to nerf this creature, as many players feel this tier 4 flyer is too powerful, even after multiple nerfs. In this video, I will be taking a closer look at the Jot to help guide you through both playing as and against this creature. So without further ado, here's my guide. Section 1. Overview Once upon a time, in Creatures of Scenario, the Salkirian was the king of the skies, being the largest and most powerful flyer by a long shot. But that all changed with the introduction of the Jot during the 2020 Christmas event. Whilst the Salkirian may have superior weight and damage, on release the Jot was an absolute powerhouse and knocked the Salkirian completely off its throne. The Jot boasts bleed, a massive health pool, agility, has a semi-aquatic playstyle and inflicts comparable damage, making it overall a better choice and as such, the Jot dominates the skies. However, the developers have since bonked the Jot's stats, reducing its weight significantly and lowering its health pool, as well as chipping away at its stamina. But then it got the best breath in the game! <laughs> But before I start to discuss the strengths of this creature, please just take a moment to appreciate the concept art done by Malarkey and how impressive this creature is. It's gorgeous. Section 2. Strengths. Okay, so where do I begin? Aside from trying to sumo wrestle and exterri, what is this thing not good at? Jokes aside, this is an incredibly versatile and powerful creature. The Jot has a massive health pool of 4,200. Whilst this may not be as high as it was on release, this is still an ample amount of health, meaning the Jot can tank a surprising amount of damage. The Jot's damage output is a well-rounded 300, and whilst this may not be the highest damage for its tier, if the Jot hits a smaller, lighter creature, it will inflict 600 damage, which suddenly sounds a lot nicer. It also comes equipped with 1.5 bleed, which is arguably unnecessary at this point as it hinders your target's health regen, but here we are. If this all wasn't enough, the Jot is currently the only creature to wield a long range water breath, which inflicts percentage based damage, and also returns a small percentage back to the player's health. This allows the Jot to engage in combat from the air in safe distances, and can be used as a game changer in the heat of combat. Along with percentage based damage, when blasted with this breath the target will have severely blurred vision for the duration of being attacked. This makes this ability especially effective against tier 4 and 5 creatures with larger health pools, as the water breath can very rapidly deplete their large health pools. On top of everything mentioned here, the Jot is also one of the few all-terrain creatures in the game. That's right, not only can this creature run and fly, but the bird can swim. What can't this thing do? Wait, can it help me apply for student loans? Due to this, the Jot has incredible mobility, as it can escape conflict by either running, flying, or swimming deep into the waters of Scenaria. This means that, as a Jot, you can cause anarchy with your breath, and then face little to no consequences, as you can simply run, fly, or swim away. The Jot is an excellent flyer, by the way. It has a healthy stamina pool and flight speed, allowing it to effectively travel long distances. It also allows the Jot to make a quick getaway if needed, and aerial combat is no problem. In short, this creature is very powerful, and when in the hands of an experienced player, the Jot can seemingly be an unstoppable force to be reckoned with. Section 3. Combat Tips Your Hundel is capable of easily taking down adolescent Kendals, most of the tier 4s, and when played right, adult tier 5s. The Jot has the capability to take down most creatures if you play carefully and patiently, and time your attacks right. The Jot can most effectively be used when coordinating an attack with another player, but the beauty of the Jot is the fact that you simply don't need another player to win a fight. Here are some quick tips to optimise your Jot combat. Number 1. Click your attack and spray your breath at the same time to inflict mass amounts of damage. Number 2. Use your breath from a safe distance to avoid melee attacks, which can be fatal. Three. Keep distance from other tier 3, 4 and 5 creatures in combat, as you can easily be picked up and trapped. Four. Understand the opponent you're engaging. Don't pick fights you can't win. Number five, avoid any combat with the Exteri and Loretchu at all costs, as these creatures can inflict bone break which stops you from being able to fly completely. 
6. Don't forget that whilst your breath does damage, it also blurs the vision of your target massively. This gives you a huge advantage. 7. Make sure to keep an eye on the breath ability bar, as running over the allocated amount of breath usage will cause you to take heavy damage. 8. Keep an eye on your stamina and ensure that you don't allow it to deplete. You will need this in case of an emergency getaway. 9. Try and stay in the air whilst fighting. Only swoop in an attack and never land as this makes you incredibly vulnerable. 10. To ensure you inflict as much damage as possible, focus on hitting the tail and wingtips of other flyers as this avoids their area of attack. So in conclusion, to fight as a jot, you must be fast, agile and know how to use your abilities to your advantage, but also be wary of your weaknesses. And leading straight on, section 4, weaknesses and how to counter the jot. So, after hearing all of that, you may now be wondering what you can do to deal with such a threat. Aside from running, hiding and feeding it cheese, here are some effective strategies to help deal with jot infestations. Firstly, the Exterorion Loretsu can be used reliably to counter the jot. Not only can these creatures inflict massive amounts of damage, but they can also completely ground the jot, eliminating one of its biggest advantages. And, as Gobba once said himself, If it can't fly, it can't get away. A downed dragon is a dead dragon. If you're wanting to kill a jot quickly, then remove its ability to fly. Secondly, bleed. The jot is massively susceptible to bleed, as when flying in combat the jot cannot land to heal its debuff. Bleed can rapidly stop up and chip away at a player's health pool, meaning the jot can quickly bleed to death during combat, which will most likely cause it to flee or log. The best creatures to inflict bleed on a jot would be the Truth, Kyrogosk, Nitalus, and the Mag. Thirdly, Saukirin can be a great way to counter a jot. Thanks to this bird's superior weight and damage, the jot struggles to stand up to a competent Sauk player. As a Saukirin, you can inflict double damage to a jot thanks to the weight statistics, and only take half damage back. A Sauk, however, cannot pursue a jot thanks to its slow speed, awful stamina, and really tiny bird brain. This aside, jot players usually recognise the power of a Sauk and often opt to leave it alone. Just a word of warning though, watch out for the jot's breath, as if you run out of stamina as a Sauk, you may just be a sitting duck. Another tip is to lure it into a less open area. This could be underwater or in a cave, as even though the jot is semi-aquatic, it is very vulnerable in the water and struggles to quickly break free from beneath the surface when in a pinch. This sneaky strategy can especially be effective if it's used by another semi-aquatic creature, such as a polymonstrum, lure or kendal. My tip number 5 would be to simply pick up the jot during one of its dive runs, or catch it off guard if it stops to land for any reason. By pressing E to grab a player, you restrict their ability to get away and it can inflict mass amounts of undisputed raw damage. This is an absolute game changer when fighting a jot, as if they manage to fly away, they will most likely have to find a secluded area and heal any damage you have inflicted. Due to the jot's low weight, almost any tier 4 or 5 creature can pick up a jot, so my advice is to take advantage of this. Just be careful though, as if you press E around a body of drinking water or food, you may accidentally start eating or drinking in the middle of combat and that would make you look like a little bit of an idiot. One weakness unrelated to combat which I should mention is the price of a jot species. As beautiful as this creature is, since the developers have confirmed it's most likely never to return, the price of this species has skyrocketed, quickly becoming one of the most expensive species in the game. Right now, the jot species can go for upwards of 9,000 mushrooms, so this is always something to bear in mind. Section 5 Summary Overall, as strong as the jot may be, it is not invincible. A competent player who knows its weaknesses, its counters, and how to apply some debuffs can take one down with enough patience. I think the jot may be getting yet another nerf just to even out its statistics a little bit, or a new creature could be potentially added to counter it. Until then, I hope this video helped as I know many players struggle at the hands of jots. But most importantly, what do you think? Do you think the jot deserves another nerf? Or do you think this limited creature deserves to be the apex predator of the skies? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really interested to hear what you think as I personally am on the fence about this. I love how powerful the jot is and I think it's a great PvP candidate, however I do understand why some players think it is too overpowered. I think that's all from me today. Thank you so much for watching my jot guide. If you have liked this video and found it useful, then please leave a like and maybe even subscribe to support my channel. Speaking of subscribers, thank you so much for 1000 subscribers. I have a 1k video in the works, but I just wanted to get this guide done first, so stay tuned for that. Until then, stay safe, but most importantly, stay funky.